So he takes Kobe over LeBron, do you? No. LeBron for the career? No. Uh, well, listen, not like, not LeBron, today. We're no. talking about for the career. Well, uh, for the career so far, but LeBron's 28. Listen, I, I told you, I, Michael Jordan, i never seen a guy like him play, but this guy, LeBron James, he's doing stuff that I've never seen before. He's a bigger, stronger Michael Jordan. I never thought I would say that. I'm not going to say he bet Michael now, but if he can win five or six championships, this guy, it's an honor. Listen, I love Kobe Bryant. He's one of the ten greatest players ever. But this guy, LeBron James, he, like Michael Jordan was on a whole nother planet compared to guys. This guy, LeBron James, is on another planet. Okay, he's taking LeBron. Who are you taking? I'm taking Michael Jordan. No, Michael Jordan answered the question. question. Oh, okay. Kobe, Kobe or LeBron. I, I probably, would, over a career, would take, if I started there, I would take Kobe Bryant right now. I, I just think that there's too much to be proven, and, and, and one has proven. The, but the luxury that I can understand what Charles is saying, and this is what I, I said to Kobe at one time, I think when he was a guest here, when he was in the studio, and he could be there again this year because he's not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> but uh, uh, what I said to him was but I he had the luxury of playing – and not being the best player or the most dominant on the court. Playing with Shaquille O'Neal for those many years, he's, he was the best one-on-one -on -one player in basketball who got to play one-on-one -on -one because they couldn't double off of Shaq, where Michael Jordan never had that luxury. LeBron never has that luxury. And I, I think that that's the difference probably that separates them, but I still would go with Kobe only because things are proven. You, uh, you played with both of them. Well, who are you taking? We were always taught that you know, great players are individuals, but, you, you know, greater players play on greater teams and teams win championships. And, you, you know, the greatest players have the most amount of championships. When I was coming up, I was always compared to, you know, all the great big men and I always wanted to pass up the great big men. So the great Michael Jordan was, was correct. You know, uh, Kobe has five championships. LeBron has one. And, you know, Charles said if... Uh, a LeBron can get to six, then you compare him to, to Mike. So until he gets to six, we can't compare him to the great Mike. Yes, he is dominating the sport. Yes, he is averaging 30. But until he gets three, four, five, and six, I think it's very unfair to put him past Kobe, or I think it's very unfair to compare him to Mike yet. <laughs> Athletic-wise, speed-wise, you know, the way he plays yet. But we are all judged by how many championships we win. Makes be like good. Larry Sanders in football. Yeah. Makes for good uh, conversation. Yeah. But, you know, uh, me and Kenny were talking. I think you, LeBron, would say he would have had that uh, L.A. shack than that Cleveland shack. <laughs> he, he, you see how he was whispering, hey, man. You just, you just listen, sitting on that uh, line for listen. Come on, man. Just watch you load up to your hey, jokes, Ken, man. Kenny, Kenny, us guys with rings don't respect guys with no rings. <laughs> okay, there, there, there. I, don't, I, don't even, I, don't, I don't even listen uh, to cats like that. Anyway, he didn't like the, didn't like the Cleveland shot. Catch a mod, catch a mod <laughs> shot's shot. conversation with like Michael Jordan shot. and also the Bill Russell with Bill Simmons and me and Chuck. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, Caught exactly. on tape. Yeah. This. Caught on tape. Uh, Caught on tape. Caught on tape. America, this is cut off. Hey, while America, you're your point. Listen. while you're making your point, I'm making my point now. On. America, That's going on over wait, here. listen, what, what, while he's L speaking, hold on, hold on. Hey, wait to sell me out, Fiorello. That's right. Uh, listen, America, the Cleveland Shack averaged way more than he averaged in Houston, <laughs> Phoenix.